Hey, ping yes. You enjoy my face close up? So I'm not. Alright, so. I gotta disconnect. Ah, there we go. I gotta disconnect this and get to this actual charger. Ugh, there we go. Thought I did that earlier. Anyway. Blah. A plus. Uh. A double plus, I guess. Okay, so we're going to the pilot seat. Ooh, what's this? I want to touch. We need to loop back the activity manifested by your current cortex chip, run it through the amplifier, feed it into the new chip, yeah, I gotta... and then make sure it's synced. Just, you lost me halfway there. You don't really need to understand it. Just make them line up. No, I need to offset that. I need to decrease the free... There we go. I know my waves. Congrats I know my waves pretty well. You can climb into the pilot seat now. Already? I have everything under control. Okay. So please, have a Man, seat. I don't... Okay. Go Just like I did at the doctor's seat. office. Sorry about any discomfort. This should be over soon. Just like having your picture taken. Yeah. yeah. But with the most expensive camera in the world... Oh, you know, I remember that line. Photos would steal their souls. In this case, they'd be right. I remember that line from the beginning of the freaking game. Oh, nice. This is actually really cool. There must be something wrong. Can't you run a diagnosis or something? Something ain't right. What was that? No, I. it's just... Why was it still talking? It's the same like before. Catherine, why was he still talking? That's how it works, you know that. What do you mean? You know it's not magic. You were copied. The sleeping Simon in the seat was copied, and now you are here, just like Simon lived on in Toronto. God damn you, Kath. Two Simons? There can't be two Simons. What did you think would happen? That you were going to take my mind and put it into another body, like a brain transplant. I'm sorry, it wouldn't work that way. You realize how messed up this is? Please, I didn't mean to upset you. How did you expect me to react to this shit? Please stop. You're fucking disgusting. What's gonna happen to him? He'll sleep for a while, a few days. And then what? Wake up in this fucking nightmare again? All alone? Oh, so cruel. Well, what do you want me to do with him? Make friends? Let him know that we have to leave him behind when we go into the abyss? What if... What if he didn't need to wake up? You do that? I don't know. Maybe. There. I set it up for you. Hit the switch if you want to drain his battery. He'll die within a minute. I'd rather not stay plugged in any longer. Yeah. No, I can't. I'm not doing it. Something tells me... Something's, something's saying to me that he should be here. He'll become his own person, basically, if he stays here without me there. Here. I'm not doing it. If anything, he'll get killed by that thing that's out there. I hope he doesn't, but... All the same. Good luck, Simon. I don't have anything else to say. And this Simon... The si well, the Simon I'm playing as... That was kind of jerkish. I get that that wasn't the best. It's you in two separate places. I honestly think that that's actually really freaking cool. But no, he had to go all off on Catherine about it. I hope Catherine doesn't take too much offense to that. I know she will, given her personality, but still. Uh, it just doesn't feel right. All right, let's get going. Look over here. Okay, I'm not sure if this is the way to go or if the other way is the way to go. Either way. Okay. Let's keep going. I don't know what this is. Are we done here? Yeah. Our 
Activate the Clara, please. Sure thing. And how do I activate this? No, how do I actually activate this? Hi buddy, what are you doing? No seriously, what, what was that doing? Okay, I legitimately don't know what to do. Do I press this button? What do I do? Oh, sure. I'm sorry. There we go. Alright. This is like a roller coaster. End of death. Okay, so where are we? We're at death. We're still in the uh, sunlit zone. It's dumb luck, right? I woke up in the right body. Yeah. I'll never experience my journey, the full journey. He wouldn't understand. How could he? And I couldn't do it, and you knew it. You were right in trying to hide him from me. I only wish you'd done a better job. I basically flipped a coin, and if I had called the wrong side, I'd be rotting away at Omicron. I mean, there's nowhere to know, right? You didn't hit the make sure Simon wakes up in the right body no switch, did you? Not that you would know. I mean, he would still claim to be the right sign. Christ. This is awful. We did an awful fucking thing. And you wouldn't mind. Why would you? How could you know that it's not me, the me that I am, the same that I've always been? Let me say something. I don't want to think. Please. I don't know what to say. Anything. I don't want to upset you. Say anything. When I was little, I used to climb the stairs all the way to the top of the building. And I can still feel how I had to, you know, tuck my arm so I could push the heavy steel door open. Well, the first time that I dared go up there, I stepped out onto the roof and watched the smog rise and fall over Taipei. I got all the way up to the corner ledge and, you know, I felt the warm wind in my hair and... The sun was setting and the streets below were shadowed by the tall buildings. The people pushing through the crowd flowed like paint from an artist brush. Street food vendors filled the air with aromas of all my favorite foods. For a brief moment, I felt connected to the world in a way that I never had before. It was the most profound feeling of comfort and sense of belonging I could ever hope for. I really never felt the same way again, but I went up to the roof many times after. I'm not religious, but I can see why people would be. The privilege of being makes a strong case, at least every once in a while. Do you still feel that sense of awe? Even like this? Things are different, but we're still here. What's the point of going on? Everyone's gone. All the people still left are digital copies trapped in computers at the bottom of the sea. We'll never be able to rebuild or reclaim what we were. Are you really so unhappy being what you are, or is this about the man who went for a scan a hundred years ago? Both, I guess. When I was back in Toronto, even the worst case, the darkest futures I could predict, they at least included my previous life somehow. I feel so uprooted. There's nothing here that I recognize, nothing that makes me feel like I belong. Even if we make it to the Ark, would it be any different? I'd still be alone. No friends. No family. You could make new friends. I'm sure everyone would like to know the time. I knew something was happening. If not, you still have... Yep, I knew.
pressure is getting yeah. probably too much. Hello, Catherine. What happened? I don't want to climb up, honestly. Oh, that's actually really cool. Oh. I wish I didn't end up having the... I hope I don't have to leave. Do I... Okay, good. I can't use that. What happens? This isn't safe. Okay, that looks like... scary. Okay, so it's... Oh, did a breaker pick, get loose? Hey, I know it's not much, but why don't we stop moving? The power blacked out for a moment. I think it could be the atmospheric pressure. The 5,000. It's pushing pretty hard, really testing the limits of my suit. Don't worry, it should hold. Comforting. It will hold. Does... Does time freeze when you're not powered? Time feels limited more than anything. What's the lot of dialogue? I don't feel like I'm being held back or hindered. And I don't have the opportunity to reflect on the time I'm missing. It's simply missing. Sounds like sleeping without the dreaming. Yes, but generally you anticipate when you're about to sleep, and there's a natural continuation since we tend to wake up where we went to sleep. My experience is more like an ever-changing moment that never really seems to find closure. Sounds kind of like a movie being edited live. I suppose so. I guess it sounds exciting, but it really keeps me out of getting bad. exhaustion. It's rough. Could be worse. Could be a time traveler stuck in a body made from black What's this goop. pressure? That'd be the worst. Whoa. Is that, did that, was that screen cracked? Something ain't right. Hi, buddy. Oh, hi. Okay, thank you. He's a nice guy. He's not trying to kill me. He's scary looking. But he's trying to help me, I think. At least we have a common goal, and that's... A, well... Eh. On the common goal thing. He wants to destroy the WoW. I want to stay away from the WoW. If the WoW is destroyed, ev uh, that implies that I get to stay away from the WoW. So if I help him destroy the WoW, then I can I help myself by trying to stay well for after the goal is achieved. If it is, I'm the, I'm trying to fill in the blank space here. The game froze. There we go. It's going. It's going. It's just taking a minute. Oh. Burp. Jeez, what happened? Oh, good, you're back. What happened? Something dropped onto the cage. Knocks you right out. Spoke to me. Looks like a man, one of WoW's creatures. It just stared at you for a moment, then threw itself down the abyss. It said it would make well, that thing was... If it was going to kill me, it would have done that in, like, the start, I when I first met him. Sure. Glad it didn't. Yeah, me too. Looks like we're closing in on the ocean floor. Good, not sure the climber can take it much longer. Okay, so, this is the Omega Sector. It's Probably. about an acre of the Abyssal Plan used by Pathos 2. I expect we'll have to do some walking before we reach Tau. You haven't been here before? Not in a way that'll help us. Right, the other you has been here. We're following in your old footsteps, Kat. Sick, yeah. Footsteps. You could still be down here somewhere. Alright. Don't remind me, freaks me out. Alright, let's get out of this. Alright, let's head for Tau and find that Ark. All right, let's get my butt out of here. Okay, so I mean I'm not too worried about him right now. All right, glad I have a flashlight. 
Wow, the wow is weak to cut. So, yeah. Okay, so I can't go that way. Oh, here's some stairs. Sweet. Um, Lumar Link needed to call a climber. I don't know what that is. Personally, I don't feel like going into any dark and spooky areas. Okay, here's something. It's a lot of dialogue this episode. Tao? Come in, Tao. Please answer, Tao. Nothing else? Nothing. Okay. It's dead. Let's move out. Jeez, we'll how the, the heck one. did this thing withstand the pressure that's down here? It's like 300... Something isn't right. Okay. Open you. And for the moment, close. Please. Don't make me feel much safer. Hey, here's something. Warning. Strong torrents expected. Fault line activity, strong torrents expected. Okay, so where's the, cl the climber stage? Is right. We're at the. Okay, we had an observatory ahead of us. And then TDSD, and then Tau. And then Fee. There's a building way, there's buildings, there's TVSE and B, is that it? I want to say that's B. Yeah, I think that's B there. Alright, just avoid this area that's marked off. Just, ooh, I want to double check that map. I want to make sure I have to go into a straight line. Straight line, that's it. Okay, about straight line. Okay. Okay, so that's... Oh! That's a head. Jesus, did you see that? Stick to the lamplights. They won't go near them. I can't, Valglasser. It's important I reach Omicron. Our future depends on it. Calm down. Let's just follow the path. If I die, I need you to tell Julia Dahl that the world is out of control. She needs to get to okay. Sarah. So, someone's down here. Do. Raj, you can tell them yourself. We just need to pick up the pace, okay? Glass, How do the bones survive this pressure? We need to go back. I know where to go. Come on. It's over there. And that's the end of him. The light is over there. No, it doesn't look like we're gonna have a little buddy anymore down here. I just stick to the lights. Uh, danger, stay close to the lights. Blue leads to Tau, red leads to the climber. Okay, so stay close to the lights. Blue leads to Tau. Yeah, they weren't kidding about strong torrents. What is that thing? What is that thing? Okay. Stay behind a- stay near a rock, I guess. I guess. Just keep going. Get in. 
Okay, I'm in. Should be good for the moment. Alright. Jeez, what is this? What was that thing? Oh, hey, here's a switch. Ah, crap. Don't rip that off just yet, because it looks like it's powering this thing. Inventory. Alright, nothing too important there. Mission logs, observation. Oh. Um, frilled shark. Dried, they lured it with a dried squid. Okay. Um, this is a giant squid. Mantle the size of a man. 12, 10 to 12 meters. Frantic attack tore the marlin apart. They used an, a whole, uh, an entire marlin. Those things are giant. Uh, uh, at least they're large. They're really large. Oh, jeez. And what's this thing? Targets unknown. Creatures disfigured by the gel are man, man, uh, manic and will attack anything. Are the term how WoW has affected their behavior beyond aggression infinity with lights. Not present. Item once. The humpback whale. Population size. I don't know what. Oh! It decreased and then increased as the years went by. Uh, the squid. Unable to load data. Yeah, does that thing look like an angler fish? This thing's this thing looks like an angler fish. Okay, I should get pretty close to a light now. Okay, so where do I head to now? Reds towards. I don't know where they go. No, like, legitimately, I don't know where to go. Let's get rid of this thing. I don't know, maybe that'll lead into some insight. What? Yeah, the thing that doesn't work anymore. Lights are gone. Oh. I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. comments about not being scared last episode were, uh, um, I should probably just run. Just run, follow this thing. Ah, eh, crap. There are some lights. There we go. Made it to some lights, thankfully. Alright, we're heading. It's not that bad. Not anymore, at least. Whoa. This is getting stronger. I'm just following the lights like it told me to. Okay. Looks like this might be the way to go. Buddy. Oh, 
Okay. There's a light. Wow. I see some glowy. Running. Just gotta keep running. I don't know what would happen if I decided to stray off. I don't want to find out. But what would happen if I decided to stray off the path? This is getting pretty bad. This weather is getting really bad down here. Dang. This is actually legitimately creepy. Those do not look like they'll stay for long. So I better get my butt moving. <laughs> if I miss something on my way here, then so be it. I don't care. Okay. We made it somewhere. Yay. Touch. Alright, I get it. I get it. Insufficient power. Let's find a power room. Uh, the gar- the garage. That's why they call it the garage. Like a bunch of British people. <laughs> oh! Tao, can you hear this? Anyone there? This is Tao? Who is this? This is Ian Peterson of Theta calling. I got a team with me, and we're about half a kilometer from Tau. What? How, how did... You came in the climber? Listen, we're having a really hard time with this sector. Heavy turbulence is making it difficult to move forward, and the wildlife you got is absolutely rabid. The storm comes and goes. The instruments show the weather is relatively fair right now. You should move out as soon as possible. Stick to the lights. The critters should leave you alone. All right, you, you should have had some kind of melee out. weapon with you. Down. Seriously, that was We're not smart in. to go down. If you went down there unarmed, that was not smart. Okay, we have power. I don't know what melee weapons would have done, but uh, it would have made me feel safer knowing that. It that I could have probably just stuck it to somebody. Alright, let's get rid of another one of these. What does that do to this place? What that just did, but okay. Oh. Okay. Well, that was that's not convenient. Uh, we're we're at TBS D. What? Beacon offline. ACR landing. Tau. Why does Tau have a halo over it? That's that's. Oh hey buddy. Can you Can you get out? Okay, I should follow you. I really should follow you. I've got no other choice. Oh jeez. Yeah, those things were blown out. If I don't follow this thing, then I'm screwed. Oh, there you are, buddy. How are you doing? Well, he didn't look like to, like he was affected by the pressure, so... Hey. Where are you going, dude? Someone tells me... Tells... Oh, this is actually getting really hard to maneuver. Okay, there's something. Okay, I still have my light going. I gotta keep up with this guy. I got no other choice. Okay.
Well, bye bye. I don't know where to go. Oh, this way. Okay, it doesn't look like my flashlight wants to work. Keep following the glow sticks. Into the cave, that looks like a mouth. <laughs> Alright. Well, that's a sea critter. Hi, buddy. This doesn't look spooky at all. Probably shouldn't go this way, but... That is the end of this episode. <laughs> we'll continue on in the spider cave next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Saw. If you did, leave a comment down below. And as always, guys, enjoy the evening, morning, afternoon, whatever time of day it is for you. I don't care. Just make sure you're not in the deep ocean under 300 plus atmospheres of pressure.